What's up guys, welcome to a new video, and uh, in this video we're going to be playing Junior Field Trips to the Airport, yes, uh, a game that I actually played a ton of as a kid, and um, I'm going to shut up because Buzzy's going to be here in a sec. Hi, I'm Buzzy the Knowledge Buzz. Hey Buzzy. Welcome to the airport. This is a very busy place. People coming and going, planes landing and taking off. Helicopters, seaplanes, jet airplanes, hangars. There's so much to explore at the airport, so let's get going. So, okay, a little bit of background on this. Uh, I am playing this on Steam. The game is available on Steam. Um, I actually have an original copy of this game as well. I saw the disc, and I was able to get the game working in DOSBox, but uh, the resolution wasn't great for recording. It was kind of weird, so um, I just bought the game on Steam. Um, so if you're wondering what the hell this is, this is a game I played an absolute ton of uh, as a child. Um, I loved this game as a kid. And uh, it's basically like a, you know, a series of games, the Let's Explore games or whatever. Um, Junior Field Trips, I think it's called. And uh, yeah, you just go around to different various locations. You can click on things in the environment and interact with them. <laughs> like that. Um, also, just want to apologize ahead of time if the uh, audio is a little bit echoey. Um, I moved to a different recording space, and uh, I haven't been able to like hang up any of the stuff that I usually have on my walls that like dampens the sound. Um, so, yes, soon there will be stuff on the walls that will help uh, mitigate that uh, echo. But you know, just bear with me for now. But <laughs> I mean, yeah, like basically. You just click on things, random little animations happen. A cat flies out of the box. We have a different box here. This one's going to Mexico and the United States and Japan for some reason. And yeah, you can like explore inside of like different things. So this one's obviously the airport one. Um, I never had any of the other games as a kid. What the hell? There's a lizard in this helicopter? Um, but yeah, I mean, it was basically just a way for kids to like just explore different things. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you some of my favorite parts about this game. Some of the weird oddities that this game has. Um, one of these boxes, there we go. Has some monsters. Woo. Okay. Um, I remember what some of the animations are. I don't remember what all of them are. Oh. Okay. Um, this is a seaplane, just kind of very similar to the other one. Um, <laughs> you can mess with this guy pretty hardcore, though. <laughs> like. <laughs> like, what is he supposed to do now? Like, I think there's another one. Oh, yeah, tire flies out. Ad very dangerous, by the way. Um, and now his trunk is empty. What a loser. He doesn't do much. He just checks his watch because he's lame. We just threw his luggage. Got rid of his luggage. He doesn't need that anymore. That's not how hoods work, friend. See this woman? This dog is zonked, bro. Look at his eyes. Oh. <laughs> Paper airplanes. <laughs> oh my god. The luggage is sentient. Uh. <laughs> All right. Like a double tall latte, please. No, we don't serve double tall lattes here. This is the curbside check-in. <laughs> what a loser this guy is. Are your flights really non-smoking? All flights are non-smoking. This guy's like, bruh. You thought you were gonna buy a latte here? What's wrong with you? Pulls out a gun. <laughs> uh, 
Nope. Well, well. Yeah, so you can click on Buzzy whenever you want. Um, or you can click on what is this and it'll let you know like, whoa, this 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 is a car. Um, yeah. It certainly is a lovely day today, isn't it? Why is his jaw like that? <laughs> what the <laughs> This dude is on drugs, bro. I hope you enjoyed your stay at the airport. I'm looking for burgers. Can you tell me where there's a good restaurant nearby? Well, first you need to take a right, then you need to go about two blocks, take another left, then come to the stop sign, then you need to take a well somewhere around there. Why thank you. Is this like Hank Hill? What the? Uh. Oh. S sorry. That guy's on some drugs. Let's go in the uh, airport. I like how she's not concerned at all about the luggage that's just moving on its own. Whoops. Yes, yeah, so this is actually one of my favorite things to do as a kid. Just click on this and just see what would come through. And it's always like random nonsense, like a whole friggin' you know, instrument here. Friggin' trumpet. Let's see what else people are trying to sneak into the airport. Oh, I, I don't know if you could bring that on a plane nowadays. A hammer? <laughs> and your carry-on? That's conspicuous. Uh, oh, a whole roast turkey dinner. Nice, nice. All right. Oh. International security incident right there. Just unplug the security device. Okay, well, you definitely can't bring a knife on a plane, so... Yeah. This game, of course, Gate a. came out uh, many, many years ago. As you can kind of tell by the... Uh... Really, dude? Is you serious? By the uh, relatively lax security at this place. Dude just got shut down hardcore. So, wanna see my Egyptian dance again? No, I don't think she does. Oh, the barf bag is uh sentient. Oh, okay, goodbye, in flight magazine. Oh, we fly in the plane now. Engage turbo thrusters. Is this like the how to guide? You just mess with the plane, just you know. Alright, how do I get out of the cockpit? There we go. I can't go this way. Alright, I guess I have to go back this way. Go downstairs. Hang on one minute, my eyes hurt. Did you just Brett? I would leave the airport immediately if this man was serving me at the gate. Look at this dude's glasses. Yeah, you can't do not try this at home. What will it take to get you on a flight out of here today? Wow. He just said get out of my face. He's not having any of it. Does this take us to Yes it does, okay. Uh yes. So that's gonna take us the same location this is at. I 
Eh, I got a white convertible with, with the dent in the back bumper. Oh, yeah, I, I think you'll like it. It's a great car. Great car. I want a four-door sedan, please. Uh. Okay, I got a flashy two-door sports car. It's tiny, but it's fast, man. I need a very big car. I've got a dinner appointment with other businessmen. <laughs> oh, my God. It's K. Oh. It's chaos. Don't be a show off. This yours? Is that a canoe? Yeah, huh? Yeah. No, that's not mine. This yours? Huh? That no. Huh? Yeah. Oh my gracious goodness, no. What else are people losing in this godforsaken airport? How about this one? Huh? Yeah. Is that a wallet? Is that a gun? An anchor? Yeah, 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 huh, huh, yeah. What are you people bringing on planes? Okay, this guy right here is my favorite thing to do in the entire game because you can do this. Oh, not that. Hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. That's that's right. Okay, yeah. Um. Okay. Heh. <laughs> it's like the weed number. No, not that either. I don't care about your office aerobics. I have one thing I want you to do. Yep. <laughs> you just like torture this guy and just knock him over over and over again. It's a... Uh... Oh. Oh, some Salvador Dali clock. Yeah, you can just, like, mess that guy's lunch up over and over again. No. You're going the wrong way. No. Nobody gets on the right flight. That was a jaunty little tune. Bruh. You just fell over. Oh yeah, there's more stuff over here. I think this is- oh. Just loading the plane. Watch out, it's coming towards you! Ah! Okay. Um. Is that the Eye of Sauron? I know you can go towards that hangar. How do I... I just had it. There we go. This is this big plane. This humongoid thing. I'm not even gonna pretend to know like what model this would be based on when the game came, came out. I have no earthly idea. Wait, what did that say? Freddy Win Oh, it's Freddy Fish! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's another, like, reference to another game that, uh, Humongous Entertainment made. Freddy Fish and all that. Yeah, Freddy awarded Nobel Prize. Ducks. I'm sure there's other references to other, like, Humongous Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the queen? She's doing some kind of like interpretive dance. I want her to get wrecked again. Stop reading your book. Oh my god. Do I have to go back in? <laughs> okay. Uh. I think you can go in the... Uh... There we go. 
you. Bless you. You get back. Flap. And then yeah, okay. Oopsie. Oh. This never happens, I swear. Oopsie You're just so pretty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oopsie. Um, right, so I think that's pretty much every spot in the airport itself that we can visit because yeah, this just takes you to here one two three one two um but there's also other stuff you could do in this game so there's some mini games here go ahead and type in your name and i buzzy the knowledge bug will keep track of your scores we play so there's five different games here shut up buzzy. hey let's play a game yes Let's Just let's. Pick one and so there's trivia. And choose a level. Even the hard trivia. You know. If you're above the age of like eight, this won't be hard. I mean, this would be impossible. I don't know how an eight year old supposed to know there's a black box, but. Excellent. How long is a Boeing 141 from wingtip to wingtip? I have no idea. Uh... Wow. See, yes. I was talking all this game. What way does an airplane go when a pilot raises the elevators? Oh, uh, up. <laughs> you got it. The up or down direction of an airplane, the pitch. I know that from Excellent. playing video games where you fly helicopters. Uh, who signals the direction? Handler? No. Yeah, yeah, you answer enough trivia, you get like a little animation kind of thing. Um, so that's pretty simple. Find it is basically just you click on things and you like that showing you what you have to find in the uh, in the airport. Now I believe on easy mode, it just starts you wherever that object is. Whoops, didn't mean to go back there. This is obviously up by. Uh, the terminal. So we're gonna go back this way. Oh, is it not here? I could have sworn. So I mean, yeah, it can get kind of somewhat difficult in our later levels, I suppose. Um, oh, I went right past it. It wasn't a terminals, but yeah. It's kind of the general idea. So yeah, it doesn't start you like where you would need to be, but didn't mean to click out of that one, but I'm ready when you are. Coloring book, pretty self-explanatory. The cool thing about this was you could mix colors. So if you take this little dropper here, you mix like red and blue, you get purple, you know, you can make like all sorts of fun colors here. So I thought this was pretty cool. Like as a kid, I would just sit here and just do this for hours, just mixing colors, accomplishing nothing. And you get some really like interesting shades. Like they actually have multiple shades of each color built in, not just like you know the one shade. But yeah, I mean otherwise, so pretty self-explanatory here. Just color things in, and you can actually print it out. Um, Do you really want to erase all the colors? No. This guy's like your undo button. It makes a funny sound. Um, but yeah, put yourself explanatory on that one. Let's play. What is it? Oh uh, boy! What is that? So yeah, I mean, it just kind of tells you like. Yeah, some of the, the failed sound effects are pretty funny, actually. The answer is altimeter. Here's another one. 
What is this? There's a crosswalk. That's right. A hangar. Now I think this Super is the same idea job. where after enough you'll get like a little um animation. Right you are. Bifocals. A binder. All right. Um, and now this, this is the the, the piece, the resistance of this game. Okay. Lost luggage is awesome. I love playing lost luggage. Like, even. Even as an adult, like some of the levels in this can get pretty tricky. Um, yeah, I mean that's the basic premise: is get the right colored luggage to drop into its matching bin. I love doing that, by the way. <laughs> the fail sounds are so funny. <laughs> it's just like, and you failed. But yeah, I mean, this game actually legitimately can get pretty difficult. I mean, having to manage, like, all these different kinds of luggages and seeing, like, okay, red's got to go into the star, right? It's like, this can't go into the star, so you got to knock that one up there. Actually, I can let these two just kind of hang out. Uh, this one's got to go up. Because this one's going to get into the diamond. And then, yeah, you can actually screw yourself if you're not paying attention. Um... Because you can make it so that two pieces of luggage are like so close that they're basically inseparable, which can be a real pain. So, um, I think I lose because this blue one needs to get down to the square. Oh, wait, no, we could do this. Oh, yeah, and see now, so you see that these two are like basically inseparable. Unless you do this, and you punch one of them out. So you actually can lose pretty damn easily. Actually, yeah, they're, they're inseparable now, so it doesn't matter. You literally, I can't win now. <laughs> so yeah, this lost luggage is like the game, honestly. This game is like way too much fun for like a children's game. So let's see if I can't complete a level here. So the square is blue, right? So blue needs to get down to the square. Um, who needs to get to the circle? Green. Green needs to get to the circle. The square is gonna be blue. So just kind of delay those for a second. Okay. Who needs to get up to the diamond? Yellow. Yellow needs to get up to the diamond, so we'll just do that. Square is blue. And the star is red. Oh boy, almost just lost. <laughs> you can see it's not uh, not as easy as one might think. So this is gonna move to square, okay. So he's gonna go there, and then you need to go there. Oh, we should be good. Ta-da! Lost luggage. This, I mean, level 99, from what I remember, is literally just all RNG. <laughs> it's literally just all RNG. So where do we have to actually get this thing? Probably not to the square. Right, but where the hell... Square, um, unless we can get it to the diamond. Uh, 
Yeah, so now we just have to wait till the... Oh wait, no, it's never gonna come out the right way for the diamond. Right. So... Crap. The star is not gonna work. Unless we can get it to come out this way, which it can change directions. Yeah, you see, it can change directions. It needs to come out the right direction. There we go. <laughs> Just didn't want to work with us there. But yeah, this, that, I mean, that's, oh, good lord. That's <laughs> Junior. Ready to play another game? All you gotta do. Field trips, Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little trip down memory lane with me. Um, if you're interested in playing this game, if it's a game that you played in your childhood, again, I bought it on Steam. So you can get it on Steam. Um, definitely something that you can acquire pretty easily so i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys again next time